And next we're going to have a look at the bevel command in sub D and we're going to look at it in conjunction with creating a crossed geometry. So I'll just get a crossed adjective out here. So as always, I'm going to start with a sub D box, um, one by one by one in the X, Y, and Z count. Uh, and I'm actually going to start by rotating it by 45 degrees. I'll uh, move it up here. And just make sure you have your gumball set to align to object right now. So I'm going to select in on this face and extrude out uh, twice. And I might do this in unsmoothed mode so I get a nice evenness through these extrusions. Um, so I'll extrude again here. Uh, and then I might extrude out here. So I'm creating a bit of a cross quite literally with my geometry. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, and we'll extrude here. So if we go to smoothly start to get that, I might go one extra out. So two extrusions on each kind of leg of the cross. And the arms as well, like that. And so we have a nice crossed geometry here. Cool, and so what we're going to do is uh, coming up to our um, insert edge ring tool. Um, I'm going to make sure I select ring and we're going to actually add a ring going along here. So I'll hit enter and go down the middle of there and we're going to do a similar one on this side. So edge loop ring like that just to add a little bit more detail and you'll see the cross starts to hold it form a little bit uh, more easily. So we already have like something that looks a little bit like a cross geometry here. What I want to do is basically try and add a little bit more articulation and detail to the surface of this cross. So I am going to now select the bevel tool in the sub D toolkit. And so the bevel tool is just up here. And what it enables to do is it um, lets us uh, do something with the edges that basically kind of splits them off and adds detail to them. So I'm going to do it to this edge loop first and hit enter. And you'll see what it does is it goes from one segment and extends it out to two. So essentially um, we're going from a really kind of smooth rounded um, cross here and we're kind of trying to turn that into something a little bit more um, rectangular but also that just has a little bit more detail. So I'll do that for that side. I'm going to do the same thing here and just extend that off. We can add uh, detail to this so we can do like five segments to the bevel um, and really add detail but for the purposes of this modeling task we want to have about one just like that. So now we've gone using the bevel tool and added in a collection of faces in our cross geometry and the next step here that I want to kind of uh, try and do is basically select this interior cross that we've now created and extrude out from that guy to create a little bit more articulation. Um, I'm not super happy with the way these edges are forming so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, these guys and because we're um, moving our gun boy or manipulating via object if I select those four they're all in alignment and I can actually scale them inwards nicely um, I might turn my grid snap on, sorry I turned off by accident. And we're able to kind of, real, with a lot of control, just manipulate the size of that cross that we've got coming um, on top of our crossed geometry. So I'll select these four now, move those guys in, these four as well, and move those guys in. So you can kind of see what we're doing a little bit there. Maybe what we want to do is make it even more defined and um, potentially move these ones in. So we get like um, in the unsmooth version, it's a bit truncated inwards. But what it does is it just highlights that kind of joint that we've got there. So we can go and do that for this one as well. Move them in. This one here. And this last one here, we can do the same thing. Just move it in like that. So we get a little bit more articulation on our geometric face.